Hey, look here. I'm all about the vibe. But when the vibe is gone, the vibe is gone. Please sit back. Get your popcorn ready. I got a story to tell, y'all. And I promise you, I promise you, I cannot make this shit up. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, first thing first. I'm going to say this. Make sure we be clear. Felicia, if you ever watch this video, this is some old shit. Don't, I don't want you to think me and Reckon was doing some wild shit last summer or... No, this is very old. Before the kids, before the wife, this is very old. Must say that. This is... That way. Let's get into the shit. So, back, man, when we were in our prime, let's use that term. We were in our prime, man, on a good night, on a good Friday night, good Saturday night. Man, this shit like a rap video, man. We might be at Reckon House... Two, three, four, five, six, seven bottles, man, champagne, whatever, whatever. So, there was this young lady, she was fucking with me heavy. Fucking with us heavy, she, you know what I'm saying? She used to be around, whatever, whatever, witnessing our demonstration. So, we was vibing. She was like, man, look, man, I got a homegirl. Want to come through, slide, and, you know, get in where she fit in. I'm like, oh, shit, okay, we got a homegirl, bet. So, same way, typical little night. We start up town. This one I was on the brown. We easy with drinking privilege. Or the Remy VSOP. Or it might have been Hennessy VS. I don't know, but we was on the brown. And Reckon used to get down there half a guys in Hennessy. So we was definitely on the brown. Remember this. So boom. So the girl, you know, she cool, whatever. She up there fucking around with us, drinking. Let's go get the home girl. Let's go get the home girl and shit. So back this time, Shmaddy would tell you this. I was literally toasting to everything, man. We a toast. Let's have a toast, because, man, it's Tuesday. We made it through Monday. We ride over the spot, get the girl. Man, we in the car, we in the car. Reckon had the two door car back then. We in the car. We toasted, man. Let's just have a good night. It's me, Reckon, the girl, and the homegirl, man. We're going to toast having a good night. Let's vibe wherever we go, we go. Toast. Boom. So we sipping, man, drinking. The drinks is flowing. We laughing. We having a good time. We actually on our way riding over to Southeast to my grandfather's spot. That's where we used to, like, kick it at. So we ride to Southeast. We sipping. We vibing. We smiling. The music is up. You know, Reckon fuck with the music like I do. We probably listen to something, talking about the lyrics, whatever, whatever. The two girls in the back, they vibing. Man, we took one toast as we got in the car. Somehow, some way, we took another one. A toast this, I don't even know this, at a red light or something, man. A toast to the light being green. So I remember taking the toast. Boom. So, I remember that part. I remember the first toast and another toast of the brown. I remember that. Vividly remember that. So when we vibe, we riding and shit. So... I'm driving, man, wrecking in, in the front, driving. And I heard, stop playing on me, bitch, from the back. So I ain't, I don't know, you know, they know each other. That might be how they was, you know, how they play with each other. I don't know what the fuck it was about. And stop playing on me. It could have been, stop playing on me, uh, something, something. I don't know. So I'm still driving on my way to South Visa shit. So we get right there, down there like that by Heck and Jamal. I never forget this shit, by Heck and Jamal. And Reckon said, oh, shit. So boom, I'm. My head instantly get on a swivel, like, oh, I'm thinking somebody about to run down on us or the police behind us. You know, I ain't got a license. We drinking, driving guns. I'm thinking the police. My first thought was the police. Right? I'm getting looking around and shit. Thinking somebody gonna run down on us. So boom. He said two old shits. Like, oh shit, oh shit. So, man, somehow, some way, while the car is moving, so then we just passed Eddie Leonard's going towards Heck and Jamal on Benny Road. The girls are fighting in the back of the moving motherfucking car. Like in the back of a two-door car, a little small-ass car. In the back of the car, the girls are fighting. And mind you, it's a two-door car. The back seat is small. So you, man, every punch lands when you that close. They was in that motherfucker. Ah. <laughs> man, somehow else the way the girl put the other hurt girl face on the glass and was hitting that Jonas. Man, they was in there scrapping. I'm still driving. I am still driving. It's a full fight going on in the car while I'm driving. So I buck over to the right, literally in the heck of Jamal parking lot. I jumps out the car, man, trying to, man, what the fuck is, man, what the fuck is going on? Slim, they, I'm talking about full, not punches, punches, like, balled up fists, punches to the face. Like, they was not scratching or no, nah, them bitches was hitting each other in the face, like, like, boom, now mind you, this is your home girl. Like, what? I'm confused. So I get out the car, wrecking, reaching in the back, trying to break them up. I get out the car, you know what I'm saying, try to break them up. They close all motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, clothes look all crazy, hair look all fucked up. I'm like, yo, what the, f 
bro. We was just drinking brown Hennessy, toasting, smiling. They got into a full fucking fight, bro, in the car. So, <laughs> so wreck it, wreck, man, wreck it looking like, what the fuck? Is, like, what the? F All right, so boom. That ain't the ill part. The ill part, after they got into a fight, now they got to get back in the motherfucking car and ride to where we going. These hoes sitting, one on the right, one on the left, sitting like, like two kids in time out like, So, I'm nervous when I'm driving. They might kick it off again. Remember, we got, we drinking, driving guns, and no license. So, I'm thinking this shit might pop off at any minute. So, the girl, the friend, like, man, drop me the fuck off. Like, I'm, I'm done for the night. I'm like, shh, with pleasure, bitch, get the fuck out. So, we, we just picked her up. So, then we just had picked her up. We probably, she probably was in the car. She lived right there, like, right there by... Dad there by Phelps, and we was around the corner. So the girl was probably in the car all of 10 minutes. So I'm thinking in my head, why would you even tell us to go get your homegirl if y'all got issues? Y'all is tussling, why would you? Whatever, so we, Dan had dropped her off about five minutes later. This is the worst part of the whole story. Fuck all the fighting, okay, the fight happened in the car. We dropped the girl off. This is the worst part of the whole story. The other girl now is in the back of the car. She done got punched in the face, face on the... On the glass, punch, hair fucked up, clothes ripped up, all this shit. This girl makes another drink, right? Or the brown say, we still gonna do this? Man, do what? Get the fuck out! Like, if you don't, if you think we about to do anything, after you done been in the full, man, her clothes is fucked up, hair laying to the side. Man, shrimp, man, get the fuck out. <laughs> Look, man, we had a nice vibe going. Two girls, some brown, headed over to the spot. And in a matter of just that fast, the vibe was gone. Get the fuck out, man. Bitch, don't kill my vibe, man. I promise you, this shit really happened. You can call a record on the phone right now. He gonna tell it to you the same way, man. I promise you, I cannot make this shit up, man. Shout out to Record, man. It was a wild night, man. See y'all next time. Gangs.